All right, here at No Reserve, we have our uh, all original and uh, hard to find 1995 Ford F-150. It's extended cab, short bed, four by four. So it's got the six and a half foot bed. Uh, it's got the full Eddie Bauer package. It's a one owner truck. Uh, it's always been uh, in the Northwest, was purchased new in Idaho. Still has its original uh, dealer uh, emblem and you could take that off if you want to. But it's just cool to see after this many years. And it's got all its original pinstripes. One piece pinstripe from Ford. Um, that's always a do tell um, if it's been repainted. But it's beautiful Oxford white. I mean, you can look throughout, there's no overspray, never had any paint work, no tape lines. Um, and you go through both gas doors, you go through all the door gaps, no overspray, no tape lines. I and mean, this is just beautiful, 100% all original paint. Um, it looks a little darker in this video just because the sun popped out right at the end of doing our picture, so I had to pull it in the shade. Um, but I'll go ahead and go around and show all the little imperfections. Um, you know, you get a little bit of condensation coming here, and it's probably just, uh, if you know these Fords, they have that black retainer ring on the back. Um, and that's probably why the headlight's got a little condensation, and that corner light has some condensation. This little scuff and scratch in the paint of the hood there. Little spot of the paint there. There's a little chip in the grill underneath the hood, so you can't see it really from the front. There is some little stone chips and aging in some of the chrome. You got your little stone chips on the bottom of the valance, and this is, you know, be this I'm an original paint guy. I love original paint, and you know, you got to get some of this wear and stuff like this, but. Um, for being almost 23 years old, um, it's amazing condition. Uh, the paint's nice and smooth, it's nice and bright, really nice shine to it. Uh, front bumper's got nice chrome. The uh, plastics is a little bit faded. Go ahead and take you around this side. You got a little scratch on the hood ridge line there. A little scratch right there, some small little chips that you'll find. And then you're also gonna find, um, you know, you're gonna find little stone chips on on the, you know, how the flat side of the body line comes out like this. I mean, the rocks just come up and hit it. Um, but it does have these awesome, uh, these matching fiberglass Ford made um, running boards that came from the factory this way. So really protected the body a lot, but you can't find these things anywhere. And I mean, them alone will usually fetch about six, 700 bucks complete. Um, you got some chips there. A little bit of stone chipping on there, as we talked about. A little entry chip areas on the door. A um, couple spots on the door edges, and you'll get these little tiny scratches from people's fingernails. Both door felts on both sides have some cracks on the outside. Um, it's an Eastern Washington truck, so um, it did get some of the dry heat weather, but that's what keeps them you know, rust free. Up here in the Northwest, we don't use any salt on the roads. But on both mirrors, you're gonna have a little bit of fading of the chrome and a little bit of sandblasting, if that's what you wanna call it. Um, but it's just little stone chips on there. You got some chips on the, uh, when it comes to the bedside gap, just from rocks coming up. Again, you got little stone chips along here. Um, this truck had a canopy on it most of its life, which really, really saved the bedsides because you don't have any side loading scratches. A lot of times you'll have scratches and scuffs and stuff, but you just kind of have your typical chips around the door edges, a little one on the bedside there, a little one on the bedside there, one on the wheel well. Take it around, got a chip there and a chip there. A little scratch on the top of the tailgate. You're gonna get your little typical top tailgate wear, a little scratch, scratch there, some little chips. But, uh, yellow chip there, little ding in the aluminum. Oh, that's just a little dirt there. But obviously you got a little dent here, and then there's actually uh, some scuffing on the top plastic piece. Uh, the, the silver is chipped around the center of the bumper, and then there's a little dent right in here. Um, so I'm not sure how that one had happened, but uh, you got area that was touched up. Yellow chip there, a little scratch. Original um, Eddie Bauer emblems. Again, really nice wheel wells. I mean, no rust, nice trim. Um, again, you're going to have your little stone chips. You got a bigger size chip right there. Uh, a little ding. See if I could, there you go, a little ding, a little chip, some little tiny those little entry scratches we talked about on the other side. You know, you do have your entry on both side rockers, some chips, and then, you know, your running boards are gonna have some marks on the fiber, because, you know, the fiberglass painted areas. Again, you have your little chips. Um, 
in these little guys, but a lot less than you'd expect. And these, this extended cab short bed Eddie Bauer F-150s, I mean, the Eddie Bauer F-150s are just really hard to find anyway. Um, all the glass is original except for the front window has been replaced. Um, no, cricks, no cracks or chips. Bring around, you have a little chip here with a little bit kind of a scratch in the paint. One area I did forget to show you is the molding, uh, paint of molding is kind of pulling out on each end, so you might want to glue each end and then they'll be nice and tight, but each end's kind of puckering out a little bit. So I'll go ahead, oh, there is a um, little chip you can see right above the trim on the hood there, I mean the roof. I'll open up the door, all the doors shut, really nice. Really nice door gaps, nothing's been messed with. Underneath the hood, all the bolts have never been messed with. Um, you have a little bit of entry wear here, but no holes, the material's still got its nice round shape to it. The plastics aren't pulled back or broken. Really nice door panels. Both sides have a little bit of chips here for some reason. But you can see just no rust, just nice original paint throughout. Got your little wear right there. No cracks or rust in the dog legs. I mean, you can see no tape marks, no stress cracks. And there's roof pictures and under pictures and everything, but in the grain gutters, it's just nice white Oxford white paint. Got a little bit of wear on the silver trim there, but the steering wheel is in amazing condition. Factory leather isn't all pulled out. It's not loose. Um, it's a non-smoker truck, no pets. Um, there is a little cut in the center seat right there. This, this piece still folds out, covers up the cup holder. You got a little cubby. Belt for six. The uh, rear seat has seat belts for three also. And it completely folds up to have a little tray. Carpet's in nice shape. No, no holes or cuts. Um, just a little bit of flattening around the rubber foot area. But has nice color. Um, no big dark spots or big dirt spots. I'll take you around to the passenger side. Uh, we do do a cold start video and a run and drive video of it too. Oh, here's a little area that was chipped up, a, little, a couple little chips there. But you can see the door felt, it's got a little bit of cracks. The black around the mirror is faded. But again, you know, I was mentioned about um, like the front headlights and, and you know, if you want to do tail lights, which these ones look fine and they got good color. But these mirrors, these trucks are great because you can buy brand new mirrors. Um, you know, power mirrors. Um, with the chrome or without the chrome, depending on what you want to do, for about 50 bucks for the pair on Amazon or eBay. Got a little wear on this, you know, I never put anything up here, but people kind of tend to put stuff up here. Cell phones and keys and they kind of slide around and they'll put little scratches. You know, you got those little chips as we talked about. And then there's a little mark here in the center armrest, but other than that, the plastic is a pulled back, it's nice and tight. The lumbar support works. Back of the seat's really nice. Nice rear seat. Pull this back so you can see it's nice and clean. Again, no rust. A little bit of paint chip right there, but no biggie. You know how shiny and smooth that is and throughout the door jams. You know, nothing's ever been messed with. Shuts nice and smooth. Really nice gaps around every fender. You know, between the cowl, cowl, you know, this is real common area for the paint to lift um, near the wiper and the back of the hood. The window come off the windshield and hit that. Uh, and this got no clear coat or paint lifting issues. Really clean engine bay. You know, underside of hood and inner wheel wells and core support. But of course, the motor's, you know, typical, um, you know, 23 year old, you know, truck. It's got some dirt and stuff like that. But that's the way I like them, and that's the way. I like to sell them. I call them, you know, it's a nice, clean, honest condition. It hasn't been steam cleaned and hit with a bunch of uh, tire dressing like you'll often see. Where, um, but uh, you can see just you know, signs of maintenance. Got a water pump was replaced not too long ago. Uh, had a battery in 2015. Now, runs and drives really good. Um, it's a mass airflow motor. Um, if I had fresh oil change, I'll fire it up. But you can see um, all these bolts have never been messed with. You know, once you put a wrench or socket on here on the hot, on the ridges, it'll knock the paint off, and then it's you know completely evident at that point that it's been fender's been adjusted or something like that. But this is nice all original truck. You know, the tires are about uh, they're probably about 50 percent little 31 inch tires.
And we do do a cold start video, but it's nice and warm so we can do the driving video. Runs nice and smooth, no belt squeal, no motor shaking. But, uh, but yeah, so this is gonna go at no reserve. Uh, hopefully you guys can stick around for the videos. You know, it's got the polished aluminum aqua wheels, manual worn hubs with the push button automatic. Everything works good. Um, so this is going at no reserve, seven day auction, so good luck.